Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, this is Dell Latitude 7280 model touchable laptop. And today we're going to install Windows. So we're going to know how to change the major settings in BIOS to enable USB boot in UEFI and legacy. So first of all, you should create bootable Windows installer. If you don't know how to create one, you can check the video link would be in the description. So make sure you know how you create one of them that you can create in EVFI. The one that I connected that is in EVFI. So first of all, what I'm going to do after connection, I'm going to switch it off and then I'll switch back on. And while I switch back on, I'm going to keep pressing F2 to get into BIOS. Thanks to Dell, always kept it unique, F2 for BIOS. This is the BIOS details that you can see. There are a few major settings that we're going to check. First of all, we're going to go to boot sequence. As you can see, this is the UEFI settings. That's the reason it shows UEFI enabled and the legacy is completely disabled. Okay, it has to be like that. Second one legacy option rom it has to be unticked like that okay and the secure boot the secure boot has to be enabled that is the settings for uefi so if you have these settings it's fine you don't need to change anything just connect your usb installer restart it choose the usb stick as a fast boot priority and then everything should be fine for instance, let's say you want to change it to legacy. How are you going to do that? Let me show you. Okay, that would be a great example because the complete settings in UEFI. So first things that we need to get into, secure boot. Secure boot enable means UEFI enable. So if you make it disable, means the UEFI would be disabled. So let's get in there, choose it, press OK to confirm. And now this is... The settings now we can enable the legacy option room you see without any problem it happened now this option is also visible that we can change into legacy it's pretty simple the three settings that we changed from UEFI to legacy and don't forget you have to have the correct USB installer okay by the way, my USB stick in UEFI, so I'm going to keep the previous settings just to make sure. I'm showing you how to do it again from legacy to UEFI again so you don't get confused. Press OK, exit it. While you restart, keep pressing F12. So F12 would take you to temporary boot option instead of choosing like some sort of first boot priority, second boot priority, you know, temporarily you can get straight back there. And also on the top, the highlighted yellow color shows which settings that currently you have in your BIOS for USB boot. Now, if you see this sort of pattern on the screen, that is absolutely fine. It comes from the USB installer because we used raw foods to create it. Now here it would take a couple of minutes. It could take longer, depend on which model that you have, how fast is your USB, 2.0, 3.0, also how fast is your computer, okay? As you can see the Windows logo, it seems everything is working fine. Something is loading up, here we go. This is the blue screen, okay? By the way, I'm installing Windows 10. If you would like, you can install Windows 11. It would be absolutely same procedure. Okay, so that's the reason still I kept Windows 10 in here. Now, the setup is starting means loading up. We need to accept the terms and condition, choose a couple of preferences before we get into the final stage. So I'm going to choose that one. Very careful when you get to this page, make sure you back up your data before you delete or create any partition or break any partition. I'm going to keep single partition because that would give me more space in C drive instead of breaking into 100 and 156. 
or whatever it is okay so it shows an allocated space which is fine you don't need to create any partition here just hit the next button and that will directly take you to the main page all right so now it's going to copy all the necessary files and folders to the main directory and pretty much that's all we don't need to do anything the system would take minimum couple of restarts until it gets done you know and afterwards might be you experience some driver issues which is absolutely normal you can update the drivers from Dell official site or you can just can go to Windows update options and update it remember to update your driver you must need to have internet connection so sometimes some people they experience uh, the Wi-Fi driver is missing in that case you have to connect the cable or you have to use any sort of hotspot to get a temporary internet connection to your laptop and it should be fine so still if you do have any question don't forget to leave it in the comment section and i hope i'll see in the next video guys thanks for watching bye for now